it's slime time welcome back to my channel unless you're new then a big welcome to you this week we are going to be unboxing 150 dollars worth of peachy babies slime before we get on with the video there's just a couple disclaimers i want to get out of the way the first thing is is that i paid for all these slimes with my own money that i made off of youtube the second thing is is that the song at the beginning is called on and on the third thing is, is that there are a couple of slimes in here that are for my sister. So if I take some of them out and put them aside and they're not in the video, that is why. The fourth thing is, is that I will be having a face reveal at 100,000 subscribers. I will be using my handy dandy scissors and some activator in case any of the slimes became sticky over shipping. My activator recipe is one teaspoon of borax dissolved in one cup of hot water. Wow. Right here I have these slimes that I will be giving away to my sister. By the way guys, just really quick, this package without those slimes that I just took out for my sister does come up to about $150 including shipping. I kind of live far away from her so that is why. Okay guys, so the first slime we have up to bat is Moon Jelly. These are brand new containers. I've never seen these containers before. They remind me a lot of the containers that all the slime sellers use, but they're in a different form. On top of every one of her 8 ounce containers, she has her Peachy Babies logo and then little labels at the bottom. This slime has a very nice like color shifting glitter in it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it shifts the blue. Do you see it? Can you see it? It's really cool, and it has a semi-like transparent look to it, but it's not. Whoa. It's so, like, thick. This, like, color shift and glitter has me mind blown. It is so pretty. The texture feels like a classic clear slime, but then it is so thick, and it's almost, like, creamy. It's so hard to explain. This slime is unscented, and it has, like, a cloudy clear base to it. And I think I remember her saying that it was inspired by a type of jellyfish. And it's almost somewhat spreadable because of its, like, jelly texture. It's so visually pleasing. Like, I just love to look at it. So overall, I'm definitely going to give this slime a 10 out of 10. Now we are on to her 4 ounce slimes. Right here, I have one of her four ounce containers. As you can see, they're pretty much the standard screw top leg containers that pretty much every slime seller uses. On the bottom of each container, she has her. Oh my. She has labels for the slime, and on the top, she has her Peachy Babies logo. This slime right here is called Pink Snowball. Whoa. This slime definitely has a little bit of a different texture than the other cloud creams that I got from her. Definitely a thicker texture. I have absolutely never felt anything like this slime before. It has a super smooth texture and super creamy. This slime has a light pink color. And if you look very closely when you spread it out thin, it has little like chunks, like beads in it, like that. I don't really know what they are, but I like that little hint of texture. It smells very sweet. I can't really pinpoint what the smell is on this thing. I have absolutely no snow fallout on my hands. It feels like it is a very thin yet thick texture because when I squeeze it, my fingers can squeeze through it pretty easily, but then it sits here and holds its shape like this, and it has me very confused. <laughs> like. Boy, overall, I am definitely going to give this slime a 10 out of 10. This slime right here is called Cake Slice Floam. The scent just exploded out of this container. It is probably one of the most realistic cake batter smells I've ever smelled in my life. This slime is just so packed with foam beads. Um, okay, enough said. 
that is so crunchy it holds such good bubbles when you swirl it like that it is extremely thick the slime base that this was in and i don't know how it's holding in all these foam balls she has me mind blown it is this light pastel pink color to it inside she has these little sprinkles and then a ton of different assorted colors of foam balls it is a very soft crunch it isn't completely packed with foam balls i love the little texture that the foam beads give it adds in the perfect amount of texture but it's still a ton of fun to squeeze and squish and just stretch it's a perfect balance between a foam and a regular slime Overall, you guys guessed it, this slime is going to get yet another 10 out of 10. This one right here is called the Pastel Princess. This is one of her unscented slimes and this is so crystal clear. And most of the beads sunk to the bottom because they sink by density. This is my weakness when slimes just beautifully flow downward like this and it just displays this gorgeous array of like colors. What the heck? This texture, just look. It is so thick. It is so beautiful. Just look at this. This literally looks like water in my desk. Like it's so clear and it's so aesthetically pleasing. This has that perfect texture in between a like thin, clicky slime and a thick putty. Inside, we have a ton of assorted, beautiful little like party glitters. We also have some sprinkles in here. They all look so amazing alone and they look even better when they're all put together. It is such a basic slime texture, but it still impresses me so much because it is so visually pleasing. Overall, I'm gonna give this slime a 10 out of 10. Next, we have our Peachy Trio. This is a mix of two ounce slimes, and they basically give you a little tester of each type of the slime. So these are her two ounce slimes right here. They're basically pretty much identical to the four ounce slimes, except they're smaller. On the bottom, they have labels for what type of slime it is, and on the top, they have her Peachy Babies logo. So these are the slimes right here. We got Candy Peach Metallic. We have, oh no candied peach metallic and we have peach sherbet so it does look like she might have messed up this little package a little bit because i got two candied peach metallic slimes i was supposed to get a peach sherbet a peach and gummy and a candied peach metallic slime doesn't look like i got my peach and gummy slime it is very possible that she made a mistake because she has so many orders coming in and out. Wow, do these smell realistic? Mainly this one. I think this one is unscented, but this one smells so much like peaches. It smells so good. We're just gonna start out with this slime first, peach sherbet slime. It is a tiny bit stiff, but I don't know if that's because it is very cold up where I live right now, but it is so thick and glossy, and it has this light creamsicle color with these yellow little foam beads inside of it, and it's just super cute. Individually, I'd probably give this slime a 9.5 out of 10. I really like it, but it is a little bit stiff for my liking, and I do have to vary some of the ratings. Up next, we have her Candied Peach Metallic Slime. This one looks so gorgeous inside of the container. The slime has a somewhat thinner texture. It is a very nice texture though. It is so pretty. It has this light orange tint to it. I don't even know how to explain this color. It, it kind of reminds me of what a sun drop would look like. Does that make any sense at all? It just has that gorgeous like metallic look to it in a soft like orange tint. I don't even know. Overall, individually, I'd probably give the slime a 10 out of 10. For this trio, I'd probably give it 8 out of 10 mainly because she accidentally gave me the wrong slime, but I really do love this slime idea. This is her white chocolate peppermint bark. 
Whoa, okay, okay. This slime is a lot like the pink snowball slime, texture-wise. It is super creamy and soft, and has such a thick texture, yet it feels thin. It is a off-white base color, like white chocolate. It has these little beads inside of it, which add a cute little touch and a little hint of texture. I have absolutely no snow fallout on my fingers. And this slime smells exactly like the name. It smells like white chocolate and you do get that little hint of peppermint in there. It's so thick and spreadable. So overall, I'm gonna give this slime another 10 out of 10. Up next, we have our candy cane frost. So here it is in all of its glory. The little white foam balls just add the cutest little touch to the slime. Along with these little red candy cane sprinkles, they just add this extra pop of color. I swear, the red sprinkles just pull the whole slime together. These iridescent glitters are also not forgotten. It has a fairly thick, clear slime texture. It's in between a putty and a super thin slime. This slime is also unscented. So overall, I'm gonna give this slime another 10 out of 10. This is her eggnog butter slime. It is this beautiful off-white creamy base with black glitter in it, I'm guessing to represent the vanilla. It reminds me a lot of a cinnamon bun scent, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't think I've ever felt a butter slime exactly like this one before. This is definitely one of the creamiest butter slimes I have ever felt. It has this beautiful, smooth, light, and airy texture, and it's so soft and fun to squeeze. It pretty much holds its shape for a decent amount of time for a slime. It's like a mix of Daiso clay in a cloud. Like, literally, that's what it feels like. Overall, this slime is gonna get a 10 out of 10. This is probably one of the best butter slimes I've ever felt. This is her secret slime. Okay, you guys are gonna think I'm so weird when I tell you what I think it smells like, but I think it smells like sweet tea with hibiscus flowers in it. Literally, that's what I smell. I don't even know. Whoa, wait, what? I was not expecting that slime texture at all. It feels like a clear slime base, but one of her like cloud cream textures because it has a slightly sticky and tacky texture that a clear slime would have. But then it has this cloud cream texture that an opaque slime would have. She has me so confused. My brain is like burnt toast right now. It is so creamy and soft and these little foam balls kind of just spread around the slime so seamlessly. It's very smooth and soft. Overall, I am giving the secret slime a 10 out of 10. She included an invoice, but on the back of the invoice, she included a little thank you note and a slime care sheet. She was also very generous with the Borax baggies this time. Overall, I really did enjoy this slime review package from Peachy Babies. I'm absolutely stunned with her creativity and her slimes and the detail she puts into them. They're very thoughtful. I'd just like to thank Peachy Babies for this beautiful slime package. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and to hit that big red subscribe button down below and to hit the little post notification bell right next to it to get notified every time I post a new video. By doing this, you'll become a member of the hashtag notification squad and one of my timers. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be sure to see y'all next week. Bye!